And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a secret Windows 10 feature to drastically improve your input delay on Fortnite. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This would help me out so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah, guys, just to give you a better comparison of how much your input delay actually improved, please take a look at the top left side of your screen. You can see that we're right now here on a total input delay of eight to nine milliseconds since our drivers, our GPU, monitor and everything, you know, all these together add up to a total of eight to nine milliseconds of input delay. And now I'm going to show you a secret window Windows 10 setting to improve this one. So see you guys just in a second. And yeah guys, now I'm going to show you this new secret Windows 10 feature which actually drastically improves your input delay. All you guys need to do is type in graphics into your Windows search bar until you find graphics settings and just open up this window. And now we're going to take a look at this first feature here, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and as it already says here, reduce latency and improve performance and you need to restart your PC afterwards to apply it correctly. So all you guys need to do is just switch it over to on here and as it says already, restart your PC to apply your changes. And now we're only going to reset our PC and I see you guys just in a second in game. And yeah guys, after restarting our PC and applying all the changes correctly and we now take a look at our input delay, we can see that it's most of the time between 6 and 7. There are some lag spikes, but I mean it's just common, like Fortnite is not really good optimized, let's be just honest here. We are actually now between 6 and 7 milliseconds on average, before it was like 7 to 9 even sometimes. I mean yeah, we definitely improved it here, 1 to 2 milliseconds at least. And now I'm just gonna show you my best in-game settings to get even less input delay. And yeah guys, now I'm also going to show you the best Fortnite settings for the least amount of input delay. You can pretty much copy all of these settings here one by one. I have to admit, they're not the most optimal because I like to keep my viewing distance on medium, you know, for competitive, so at least have that advantage. If you obviously want to go for the least amount of input delay and the most FPS, you gotta put it on here. And my meshes are on high because I simply can't handle mobile builds. Other than that, I'm obviously using the alpha performance mode because more FPS just simply mean less input delay. And now we're gonna move over to the game settings. And what I want you guys to do here is just scroll all the way down until you find your replays and just make sure to turn all of these off. This is simply gonna put such a huge workload onto your PC and you're just gonna lose so many extra FPS. And as mentioned before guys, more FPS literally mean less input delay. And now as the final part guys, please make sure to put your sound quality on low because you can't actually hear a difference between low or high here. And also make sure to put your visual sound effects feature here on off because this is just gonna cost you again important FPS. I would definitely say having more FPS is better than seeing from which direction sound comes. I mean you can literally listen it for yourself. So therefore please make sure to turn this off as well. And with that said, we're pretty much done here. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.